After a great first summer with Barlow Vento, we eased back into our work routines and the fall season. We did manage to have a couple more cruises to finish off the season, one with our good friends Scott and Melissa, and one just on our own in September. A few more day sails finished off the season, then it was time to put the boat to bed for the winter. Purchasing our boat was a big stretch for us. We had many long conversations about whether or not we should do it. We are both in our early 50s, kids are in school, and we work full time. Catherine is a teacher and is building a tidying business. I have been a public school teacher, a school principal, and now a district administrator. And we are very fortunate to be in a position where we can sell our home downsize and buy the boat that we fell in love with. So what motivates someone to spend their life savings or give everything up to build, rebuild, or buy a boat that will depreciate in value over time? Why do we sail? I think perhaps it's about the feeling of freedom and the exhilaration of being on the water being able to go almost anywhere in the world on your own terms. When we are sailing and we turn off the engine and the wind fills the sails, there's no better feeling. It gets us every time. The boat is an investment in us and in living life. We live in a beautiful place. We are lucky and grateful. This sort of mound is uh, Bowen Island, but all the rest is Gambier. This is a really long boat, so it's so quiet here. Little Sunday afternoon sail. How fast are we going? Uh, 5.4 knots. 5.4 knots. Does it say what the wind is doing? You'll have to look on your other instrument, I think. Winter. So today we've got about um, 35 knots blowing from the north and it's quite chilly. It's not below freezing now, but uh, it was overnight. Taking off the bimini cover. Okay, so we're also going to have to unscrew the support, pull it through this loop here. Just so we remember. Mm -hmm. 
that the, that this one is a butt. Oh, I guess we'll be able to tell. We'll be able to tell by the piece that's left, actually. Christmas shopping. Catermole Slough is a long narrow channel that lies just west to the Yacht Club. It's a popular spot for transient anchorages. After a few days of particularly strong outflow winds, sadly, several boats were lost. sensor. So if I put my foot on the right side, the right side lights up. If I put it on the left, the left side lights up. So both need to be on for it to work. Oh, I see. So it's like a make sure your foot is fully on before it'll activate type thing, right? Just bring it up to level and it activates. So we live uh, in Squamish, British Columbia. Uh, Squamish is at the head of a large sound called Howe Sound. It's actually a, a saltwater sound surrounded by quite a steep mountain range. It's the, the coast mountain range here in southern BC. Squamish is quite well known actually for uh, the amount of wind we get. So for sailing and kite sailing, kite surfing, it's kind of a, a, a big destination. And it's quite beautiful, actually. It's quite a stunning area. Uh, we did have a shot earlier in the video from the top of the gondola. It's a spectacular place to go. The view from the video earlier, you could see the basin that we actually sail in, that Squamish Harbor. It looks quite small in the video, but it's actually quite a large, great area for sailing. So one of the big questions we often get is, do you keep your boat in the water all year round? And the answer to that is yes. I know in uh, Central Canada and Eastern Canada, uh, you wouldn't do that. You would bring your boat out of the water on the hard uh, for the winter time because it typically stays quite cold and uh, the freshwater lakes tend to freeze up. Here in the West Coast, uh, our, our weather is typically a little bit milder and most people will keep their boats in the water all year round. That does come with some challenges, however, because from time to time, the weather does 
get quite cold. For example, here in Squamish this week, it's been very chilly. We don't get down to minus 40 here, but we can get down to in the realm of minus 10 Celsius. And when it's super windy, like it is often here, the wind chill can get down to about minus 20. So what do we do uh, when it gets cold? Well, um, a few things. So typically boat owners here in, um, in BC will equip their boats over the winter time with uh, dehumidifiers uh, and heaters uh, just to keep the moisture out. I'm sure that's done uh, elsewhere in the world as well. So it's another very rainy day in Squamish. It's February 21st today and I'm just heading down to the boat to take a few measurements. There is a, an external boarding ladder. It's kind of a tube. Uh, it sticks into the transom and uh, it's you are overboard and in an emergency you need to get on to the boat. Uh, you take the cap off, pull the little rope ladder out uh, and get back on board. And unfortunately, the little cap that covers the ladder uh, disappeared on us uh, overnight while the boat was um, in our marina, in our berth. So my idea is, uh, rather than paying about $150 Canadian to order the replacement, um, I'm going to try and design a cap or a new cover and have my son uh, 3D print it for us uh, to try. So I'm just heading down to take the measurements right now and see how that goes. I'm um, also, for the first time, wearing my new Heli Hansen uh, foul weather gear. Uh, Catherine and I each picked up um, these new jackets from Heli Hansen. And they're great. Uh, lots of great features. Um, they have uh, cuffs in the, inside the sleeve uh, to prevent water from draining down in. Uh, really high collar on it with fleece, uh, lined with fleece in the center and, and a, <laughs> an awesome hood. So it should keep us dry and warm in foul weather. It's really raining out right now, so I decided to uh, try it out um, as I make my way down to the boat to measure the, the hole for the, for the ladder. So what are you going to have at flip side? I'm having the, um, what it is, the barbecue burger, the one with pineapple. Ah, the barbecue burger with pineapple. It's good. Just to make Bits and pieces of my burger falling off. <laughs> yeah, I just got a little taste on my finger. Please, it's for the garbage. In our next episode, we'll take Brolavento out for the first sale of the season to shake out those winter cobwebs. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>